What's up guys? Welcome to week number three in our series Mission Launch. So the last two weeks we've been talking a little bit about uh, the Israelites and a tough time in their history. So the Israelites were overtaken by a group of people called the Midianites and uh, they were in so much trouble that they had to seek God. That's what we talked about week number one. Week number two we talked about how God was going to use a guy by the name of Gideon to deliver the Israelites from, from the Midianites. So here we are today talking about Gideon. Now God has proven himself to Gideon by, by showing showing him these miracles. So here's Gideon ready to go into battle. He's standing there on this hilltop with 32,000 men. 32,000, that's a lot of people. So he is ready as ever to go into battle and defeat the Midianites. Well, somebody else wasn't ready. It was God. God wasn't ready. God told Gideon, he said, you have too many men to go into battle. Too many men to go into battle? What? So God tells Gideon, he says, I want you to go to all the men and tell them that anybody who's scared to go into battle and fight can go home and leave. You see, God wanted Gideon to defeat the Midianites, but he wanted him to do it in a way that he would get all the glory. So Gideon goes to the crowd and tells them that if anybody's scared or afraid to go into battle, that they can leave. Well, the Bible says that that day, 22,000 men left and went home. So there, Gideon is standing there with 10,000 people left, still ready to go and fight. He's ready to go and defeat the people that have, that have overtaken the Israelites for the last seven years. So he's ready to go and fight, but God gives Gideon some more instructions. He says, no, Gideon, you can't go and fight yet. You still have too many people. And Gideon's like, what? Still too many people? 10,000 people going to defeat an army that's too big to even count. But nonetheless, he had to listen to God. So God gave him some instructions. He told Gideon to take the 10,000 men that he had with them and go down to the water at the spring where they were camped out. And he said, there, I will separate the men for you and I will tell you which ones you will take to battle. So Gideon takes the 10,000 men that he has down to the water and God says, separate the men by the ones who stand up and lap the water from their hands like dogs and from the ones who kneel down, down on their hands and knees and drink the water from the spring. So 300 men picked the water up in their hands and lapped it out of their hands like dogs. And the other men all knelt down to drink it. Well, God told Gideon that he was gonna use the 300 men that lapped the water out of their hands to defeat the Midianites. Gideon and 300 men were gonna defeat this army it probably seemed impossible. As a matter of fact, I bet Gideon was very scared. You know, Gideon had to expect God to be there because there was no way that he was gonna be able to take 300 guys and go defeat an army so big you couldn't even count it. They had, they had overtaken the Israelites for the last seven years. But Gideon had to trust God. He had to expect God to be there and that God would be with him like he promised he would. You see, God wants us to do the same thing. Sometimes in our lives, things happen that we may not understand. And sometimes it may even feel like God isn't there. But God wants us to remember his promise that he will always be there with us. God wants us to expect him to be there just like Gideon did. Inside.